Hello, welcome to your most accurate educational fun forecast for the Mohawk Valley, live streamed every night at 5.55 on Facebook, where we encourage you to check out and like the Weathertainment fan page. A trivia teaser for you, we'll come back to this before the forecast. Spring fever is a real thing with real symptoms. Is that true, false, or for high schoolers only? Dry but cold until Friday, then stormy weather Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Yes, every day. And temperatures will eventually return to seasonal norms after a bright but cold one on Thursday. Umbrella, maybe umbrella early, umbrella early, and again at night, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's the short story with the average high up to 46. We're in a bowl, as you can see by the pattern of the clouds here. A bowl of cold air, a chunk of chili, all the way down to the mid-Atlantic coast. Warm air continues further south. That high, moving overhead, means less wind for Thursday. And then Thursday night, as it departs off the coast, this warm front will begin pushing in with the clouds first after midnight Thursday night, and then Friday some occasional light rain. This should change to light rain Friday morning when it arrives in upstate New York. This storm will continue its trek across eastern Canada into the province of Quebec, the warm front will lift northwards Friday night into Saturday morning, but then drop southwards Saturday night into Sunday morning, Sunday night into Monday morning. It's going to meander back and forth. And when it does that, and keeps rippling like this with the storm hanging around. It will allow this storm to catch up with it again and enhance the rainfall Sunday night, Monday, and probably Tuesday into Wednesday too. Meanwhile, behind the warm front, look at this effect it's having. It's 50 in Omaha, or rather St. Louis, at 5 o'clock Wednesday evening. But it's warmer in Bozeman, Montana, right along the Canadian border, and up in Calgary, it's at 60 degrees. So that warm air is building. We just got to get it to transport in. We got to cut off the flow coming from Canada, like the present high pressure system that's bringing down this chunk of chili for Wednesday, Wednesday night, Thursday, before the clouds increase as the high departs Thursday night and rain arrives on Friday. But the radar is quiet across the Northeast. The Almanac, the high on Wednesday was right after midnight, Tuesday night, but the daytime high was 20, and I said 23. The low was 13, a baker's dozen, and I said 16. There's the average high and low, records, trace after midnight, Tuesday night. Sunset is at 717, 12 hours and 19 minutes of daylight. Support Weathertainment by telling your friends, sharing it on your Facebook page, and by purchasing something on the website. Spring fever, is it a real thing with real symptoms? It's not just for high schoolers, my friend. It is actually true. Depression, fidgetiness, agitation, things that go along with anticipation. Those are the kind of symptoms that people have when they have spring fever. It's an actual thing. So they're not just saying it necessarily. Meanwhile... A dome of blue with golden sunshine on Thursday. Much less wind. Cold, but at least with the lack of wind, the direct sunshine for 12 hours will make it feel warmer than 33. A clear evening Thursday evening, but then it clouds up after midnight, a low of 18. Friday overcast. Light rain frequently throughout the day. High 44. Saturday parade, a little bit of light rain in the morning. Sunday morning ditto. It'll probably rain heavier Sunday night and into Monday as well. That is your five-day forecast. Make it a great Thursday.